I'm really getting sick of that old man without... Take on the Nazgul and put up with this stupid tree. should not be putting so much effort Fellows, will be your God bless you, Tom Bombadillos. Like What's the matter then? Come now, tell me what's your trouble. <laughs> My friends are caught in that willow tree. Old man Willow, I know the rhyme for him. I'll chant his marrow cold if he don't behave himself. You let them out again, old man Willow. You should not be waking. Eat earth, drink water, go to sleep. Bombadil is talking. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. You. Thank you. Yes. Very Thank much. you, enigmatic well, weirdo. My little fellows, you shall come to the house of Tom Bombadil. Where? Time enough for questions around the supper table. Come now and help Tom find lilies for fair Lady Goldberry. After that, we shall sit down to a table laden with cream, honeycomb, and white bread yes, and butter. Yes. Thank you. What are we waiting for? The sooner we find lilies, the sooner we can eat. Thank you. Suddenly, it makes perfect sense why Peter ultimately cut you from from the movie. Who 
who's fighting what here? Eh. Sorry, sorry guys. I'm just so so dumbfounded by Ah Left some alive. One of these infernal spiders alive. Just narrowly beat out a giant tree with a bite was worse than his ability to crush my cousin with his. In his woody mandibles. <laughs> A merry fellow, his flat, his hat is blue, and his boots are yellow. I don't actually know how to not Again, it's been a, been literally a lifetime since I sat down and read the Lord of the Rings books. I'm up to my arm. The spiders who have no sense of personal space. Frodo Spider Scourge. Hail Frodo the Ring Bearer. Yeah. Old Tommy Boy couldn't be bothered to kill every spider, could he? That would have been... You know what? You got me out of that jam with old man Willow. I'll still rake all over the coals for this, but... Still. Save, yes, please, thank you. <laughs> Hooray! I got all the lilies. Now where did Tom now where did Bomb the Bombadil go? Where did Tom Bombadil go? And 
follow-up question. How exactly does that threshold burn for the ring work? Ah, there you are. Fair lilies for the fair river daughter. Come, let us go to meet her. Yes, lead the way. Come, Tell dear folk, laugh and be merry. I am Goldberry, daughter of the river. Here's Which my river? Goldberry. You are still afraid, perhaps, of mist and tree shadows. Fear nothing, for tonight you are under the roof of Tom Bombadil. Who are you? Eh, what? Don't you know my name? It's the only answer. For who are you without your name? But you are young and I am old. Eldest, that's what I am. Tom was here before the river and the trees. Tom remembers the first raindrop, the first big people, and the first little people. He was here before kings and barrel whites, before the elves passed westward, and before the seas were bent, before the Dark Lord came from outside. His precious ring has no power over Tom Bombadil. And now, merry friends, it is time for our supper. We ate our first good meal in a long time, singing songs and telling tales until late in the night. We slept peacefully and were refreshed enough to continue our journey. Keep to the green grass as you go, lads. Don't go meddling with old stone or prying into the houses of old dead Barrowites. Here's a song to sing should you fall into any danger. Oh, Tom Bombadil, Tom Bombadil, oh, by water, wood, and hill, by the reed and willow, oh, by fire, sun, and moon, hearken now and hear us, come, Tom Bombadil, for our need is near us. Thank you, Tom Bombadil. Speed now, fair guests. North, with the wind in the left eye and a blessing on your footsteps. Make haste while the sun shines. Farewell, friends. It was a merry meeting. For context, Tom Bombadil existed before the... before the, the Dark Lord. The first Dark Lord. Morgoth. The Dark Lord who reigned before Sauron came into power. Followed promptly by... Who knows? Tolkien didn't feel comfortable with the sequel he was working on before he died.
must collect mushrooms. Mushrooms only saving grace for... The Barrow Downs. Even Tom is cautious about this place. Yes. The desecrated burial grounds of the kings of Numen of Arnor. So We're not far from the main road by my reckoning. There. Splendid. If we keep this pace, we'll leave the Barrow Downs by sunset tomorrow. Not soon enough for my liking. I don't trust what's hiding in the fog on the Barrow Downs. <laughs> you don't believe stories about old dead Barrow Whites. Not until today, but Tom said otherwise. Tom is the only one not affected by the ring. I wonder why. He was here before the Dark Lord came from outside. Outside what, I wonder? And whatever did he mean by eldest? And why didn't he serve bacon? Or cutlets? Or sausages? I don't like spending the night yeah, among these burial stones. They look like giant teeth coming up from the ground. If half the stories I've heard about the Barrow Downs are true, we'll need to keep a careful watch. Enough storytelling. Let's get to sleep. Sam? Mary? Pippin? Where are you? Where could they be? Sam! Mary! Anyone! Where are you? And now we understand why the Fellowship was formed in the first place. Because Frodo could barely step, take a, the first step out of Bag End without being harassed by the Nazgul. The fog here is quite thick indeed. Followed by spiders and angry trees. You're just pathetic ghost. This... It's a... St <laughs> it's dumb, it's dumb <laughs> specters. Some whites. By a stick. A stick. <laughs> We've been paying untold millions the Ghostbusters for nothing. Nothing I tell you. <laughs> Just fight ghosts with a stick. <laughs> Makes up with the kind old man Willow over and over and over again. <laughs> Ghosts being beaten with a stick. <laughs> it's just so tough, we can't help but laugh. <sighs> Panic. We just have to start all over again from the very beginning. And that is the way I came in. And if you're curious at all about why the this fog here is quite thick measure, indeed, measure gameplay in kilobytes. That should give you an impression of just how old this game is. That, I think that was the highest, highest measurement of data, highest data measurement unit commercial computers could use back in the day. Don't know for certain. And 
Well, I remember just enough of my childhood to remember what I typically watched on a given day. It was primarily a mix of PBS and every other kid's programming block that was on the air back then. Those were good times. You had a rocket off week at school, you could just do a little escapism by watching the misadventures of really any goofy cartoon characters. Be it reimaginings of the elders who walked alone. Two strange shows that were conceived maybe a year or two ago before you actually watched it. Apparently, conceiving a, an animated show is really complicated. Time consuming, at the very least. Hmm. I wonder if we'll run into Skeddy or Squid. I wonder if he will run into Shaggy and Scoopy. Through this... Through this... Through this sweet, inhospitable wasteland, fit for neither hobbit or man. Or elf. Or dwarf. Or ant. I think even the orcs would give this place a wide berth. I have no idea where I'm going. I wonder. Yeah, a stick works, but a knife, it, but a rock is completely worthless. Poison at me. Mm. Blade of wet, a westernist dagger. Gotta be more cool than a stick.
Okay.